know at noon today we are finding answers to your questions surrounding Dr. Eugene Gosi and the prescriptions he has written. The doctor slapped with a 114 count federal indictment earlier this week for fraud and drug charges, but now he's free on bail and he continues to see his patients. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley live in our newsroom right now with the latest on the story, Ed. Well, Keith, one of the big questions that came out of the Dr. Gosi indictment was whether prescriptions he wrote are still valid. So we contacted the Drug Enforcement Administration in Washington to find out. According to a DEA spokesperson, all of the prescriptions that Dr. Gosi wrote up to the day he surrendered his DEA license are valid, and that includes refills. Now, the doctor was arraigned on a federal indictment this past Wednesday, and one of the conditions of his bail was that he had to surrender his DEA license. But what about other people in the doctor's office? Can they still write prescriptions for regulated medicine? The DEA says they can, only if they have their own DEA license. Now, pharmacists are strongly warning patients to not stop taking their pain medication without checking with their primary care doctors first because the withdrawal symptoms can be very severe. Um, they're going to become very um, agitated, um, nausea, vomiting, high blood pressure, increased heart rate, um, anxiety. I mean, they're, they're going to become very, very sick. Pharmacists at the Niagara Apothecary in Niagara Falls were told by the DEA this morning that prescriptions written by other practitioners in Dr. Gosey's office are still valid. But we did find out that Dr. Gosey's office is closed today, and there was a note posted online saying it will not resume seeing patients until May 3rd. Live in the newsroom, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News.